Alright guys, so are the pull rates really this bad with the new set Temporal Forces? We opened up the booster bundles from the last uh, video and if you saw that, we got some ace cards and you know, the number of hits are fine, no special illustrations and nothing really too noteworthy. So what we're gonna do is opening up this box right here and we're gonna see if we can get some good pull rates, maybe hit a special illustration rate or if, is it just like how everyone says that the pull rates are horrible. So let's check it out let's get into it all right guys so here we are nice booster box this set's been out for quite a while so you guys have probably already well well versed with the hits in this set so let's just skip all the hubbub and whatever and we're just gonna go straight into opening up packs and we're just gonna stop when we get a nice hit get the pain out the way more than likely not gonna get a special illustration rare, but it's okay. That's just my luck. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, I'm gonna. I might start using a cell phone soon because this camera thing is way more trouble than it's worth. And we got a for alligator. Dandy shocks, huh? And we got a Mariah Dawn. There we go. As always, you get the code cards. We got our first hit coming up. I can rock Awakening Drum. Litten. Oh, that's, why did I call it Lightning Rock? That's not even a first. Awakening Drum, Litten, and Relicant. So apparently, apparently, the ace for the ace cards. It's normally about two per box, from what I've been told, and from what I've watched too. It's normally, it's normally two ace cards, two or th uh, two or three illustration rares, two or three full arts. You know the drill. There we go. Oh wow! Okay, I like that one. Hold on a second. It's got future boost. Re ridiculous and ridiculous, ridiculous. Okay. And we got ourselves a Gengar. Gengar EX Full Art. And that looks really, really nice. Let me see that really quick. Whenever your opponent attaches an energy card from their hand to one of your one of their Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. You may move an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon to one of their benched Pokemon. That could be really irritating, actually. That's actually pretty cool. You hear a bunch of beeping and sound stuff. That is my group messaging each other left and right all over the place let's see we got vicavolt master ball why do i keep this isn't even a master ball uh bolton and relicate okay so i'm getting confused here because every time i see that i i forget it takes the place of the reverse so when i see it i'm immediately jumping in thinking that's the uh that's the actual hollow so we already got two ace cards. That was pretty dang quick. That was really quick. How fast we got those ace cards. And we should... That's not the iron hands people want. <laughs> the Emperor, Scythe, Karaya. And there's that, there's that uh, iron hands from the other set that everybody wants. The one that I think if it kills, if it, if it, uh, knocks out a Pokemon, you, don't say kill, if it knocks out a Pokemon, you get, what was it, an extra energy? Or an extra, extra prize card or something like that, yeah. Let's see what we got here. Iron Boulder EX. So set that over there. Dude, that, dude, who, this, uh, this, uh, code card got mangled. Well, to be fair, that box that they came in got kind of mangled also. Iron Valiant? Man. It's not the other cards, just the code cards, but... You see, the other cards are just fine, but these code cards have gotten beat down. Jeez.
really quick down below uh, in the comment section let me know if you guys just like me doing opening videos if you guys want me to do some other videos to talk about other topics and stuff because i could go into a lot of other stuff but I, if you guys only want to see opening videos i can just do all those too let's see cockney airy wait is that a special illustration i'm not sure that's definitely some kind of illustration. Jeez, she looked pissed. She looked angry. God dang. Who pissed her off? Still a pretty good pull though. Damn, she looked pissed. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what other videos you'd like me to do. Like I said, if, if, if you just like opening videos, I'll do opening videos and we'll stick to that. But if you guys want to hear about what I what I uh, invest in, the stuff I normally look for and buy, and the stuff I pass up on, and everything else, just let me know down below what kind of videos you guys would be in, uh, like for me to make, and uh, could probably make that happen in the near future. I have a lot of stuff to open up for for future videos, but I also I see a lot of people putting up these investing things and say, "Oh, buy this, buy that." And of course, I have my own take on it, and it would probably piss some people off, to be honest. Because everybody want, or not everybody, there are some pretty good in, in, uh, channels that tell you what you should really go for, stuff like that. But the thing is, a lot of these places also want, want you to go for the FOMO, because they want you to buy into the hype, thinking it's always going to go up, or or it's to the moon for certain things and it's not always like that. And that would just give you my honest opinion on it. Raging Bolt. If only you were the SIR. I'll tell you right now, if this set is this hard to pull, and if this set, I think I saw that this had a lot of SIRs, this set could actually in long term do well. Oh, there we go, our first illustration rare. Chat talk. Little birdie birdie. I'd have to do some more research on, on this set. Hypothetically, if this set had a lot more SIRs than other sets, and they were, and it was the pull rates are really, really bad, then it kind of reminds me of Evolving Skies a bit. And the reason why it reminds me of Evolving Skies, Blood or Main, is because that set had a lot, I think it had the most alt arts out of any Disorder Shield set. And that plays a big factor because the more alt arts that there were in the set, the harder it was to get a specific alt art. And it's not like, like the, uh, anything after fusion, uh, I forgot, I'm so tired, I can't even think, fusion strike. After Fusion Strike and then I think another set after that, then most of the sets all drop down to four alt arts per box, except for a specific box. I can never remember which one that was that went up to like six for a little bit. And then after that, everything was just like four alt arts per box. And that, like I said, that plays a big factor in a box worth to me, because that means it's that much easier that if you do get an alt art, it's gonna, you, you have a, like it's for all arts and if you hit one 25 percent chance you're gonna get the one you're looking for right much easier something like evolving skies where the pull rates were already in chilling rain chilling pain where the pull rates are already bad it's just hot yeah, sometimes i've seen people open up cases and not get the all art then you have so many all arts there that to get a specific one is really really hard but let's see oh there's something there it is a Wug Trio. A Wug Trio. That's my first tarot card, and I opened up 
I didn't see any tarot cards in my uh, booster bundles, so. Let's see here. We've got Char Charger Bug and Maridon. We are at the halfway point with the whole right side being done, except for this last pack right here. Add cargo. When some of those future cards or ancient cards are reversed, they kind of come off as a full hollow that confused the hell out of me. That right there it comes off as a hollow. This is a reverse, but it just it had a hollow vibe to it. These uh, re reverse ancients, reverse futures, or reverse stuff like that. That's why I kind of double take when I look at it. So we've only got one illustration rare so far. It's just like chat taught. Oh, okay, this this pack wanted to open up awkwardly. Means it's gonna be an illustration rare in here. I'm calling it right now. Colossal Car Carvana and Riadon. Right on EX. See here. Bronzong, Tabasco, and Karaidon. Karaidon. Karaidon, Karaidon. All the same Pokemon. Don't give me, don't give me anything for saying I'm wrong. Ghastly, Frost Moth, and Iron Valley. That's not the Ghastly we want. We want the other one. We want the the IR one. Not the uh not the uh regular non illustration. Well this whole left side is not looking good at all. And metal metal. Yeah, I think we've only gotten one pull out of this left side. This left side is looking really, really bad. Like everything came out the right side. The Gengar came out, the Airy came out, the Chat Top came out. Come on, left side, you gotta, gotta represent. Le right side pulled out all these big bangers. Or I mean, not bangers, but all these hits and left side's giving me a whimsicott. I'll tell you what I'm really excited for, guys. I'm really excited to open up the three-pack blisters because if all the pull rates are not that good, three-pack blisters never let me down. They always pull through. Yeah. Might, got, might have some Iron Valiant hoot hoot in a... Cypher Maniac Code Breaking. Cypher Maniac's Code Breaking. No idea who Cypher Maniac is. But it's a full art, so it's not bad. I like the airy much better. Very angry. Always gotta go with the angry girl. Walk, that reminded me when I walked downstairs and this uh, one of our one of the workers was like doing some work on the light and he was touching the ladder 
and there was no warning whatsoever. I came by, axed my arm, brushed against the, the uh, ladder, shocked the living hell out of me. Like it was so bad that, uh, not bad like I had to send me to the hospital, but bad enough to where it was like, I felt like I had arthritis and some random ass pains going up and down my arm and, and specifically in my hand for like, hours I, I couldn't play i couldn't play games much at all Terra ex so we're not seeing any more ace uh it looks like we got our three hits which is gengar ex airy and cypher maniac i'm gonna guess the airy is special illustration just because there's a lot going on there but i could definitely be wrong I want it to be a special illustration so that way I can say, haha, I pulled a special illustration. The hunt is done. But we all know what the special illustrations where everyone's looking for is. You gotta have one of the legendaries. This is the second to the last pack. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Meltan. So we got a second IR. About dang time. Jeez. I, I was in the, I was about to say, we're about to go through this whole thing and get one IR? Are you out of your mind? It's not acceptable. Last, let's see, come on. Are we gonna pull another IR out of here? Nope, El, Elgium, Great Tuscan for Alligator. There we go. There's your code card right there. And now let's take a look at exactly what we hit. How many and how many hits we got? I should have sleeved them first, but I didn't pull my sleeves out, unfortunately. So, in terms of uh, IRs, we have two illustration rares. In terms of regular EXs, we have one, two, I consider them regular, three, four, five. So, we have the total hits is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, which is about 12 to 15 hits per box on a booster box is about right. That's on the low end, as usually I said 12 to 15, but I guess, I mean, I, I, I guess I gotta believe it. Like I'm, I'm experiencing it firsthand. These pull rates are not that great. I only got two illustration rares, actually, Hold on one second. Hold on. So apparently, after looking it up, this is the special illustration rare. So we got our special illustration rare. And I was hoping for one of the big Pokemon, but you know. I guess take what you can get. So not bad, not bad. Pretty good condition too. So we got that, and we ended up with an awakening drum. I think these right here are, are, are the big hits of the set uh, of, of the opening. Not the greatest hits, but hits nonetheless. Anyways, if you like what you saw and you saw the pull race, tell me down below. Did I pull good? Did I pull bad? Was it a bit? Eh? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully you like what you saw. Please, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, yeah. We're going to get to that next video, and we're going to get to those three-pack blisters. And I promise you, these are going to be the best pull rates you've ever seen. It's on the three-pack blister king. Anyways, take care. Bye-bye.